Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we are going to go through the collector, the evil airship of Skeletor. This box is quite big for a vehicle set. There is no window box or anything on this, it is just all artwork. So let's crack in and have a little closer look at this first off. So you've got Skeletor there with like web store. You've got your Battle Cat, Man at Arms, He Man getting grabbed. You've got the Sky Sleds and the Wind Raiders and the uh, no the Talon fan Fighter up there. So with a couple of Palace Guards and Teela in the actual Talon Fighter. Round the side, you have got that little imp there again. So is that Hordax imp? So we're probably gonna get him maybe and um, here we go you know swift winds she -Ra. and then all on the back you've got just the little pictures with the figures that have been released in this cartoon collection so far so what I'm waiting for I've ordered a clawful and spike over there so I think I think yeah I think every other one is available to buy now we're just waiting for these two to pop along it may be or they may be already out by the time I've put this one online but again I don't know how far do you think they're gonna go with these are they just gonna put bring out like the first basic range of the cartoon collection and are they gonna stop are they gonna move straight into maybe princess of power along with the horde we're definitely going to get the Hordes. We're definitely going to get Hordeach. We're definitely going to get she and Swiftwind. So, and with this imp being all on the packaging, we know this is Hordax imp, I'm sure of it. So he's probably going to come up with a two-pack, maybe, with Hordeach. On the top there, you've just got the where it fits three figures. Um, grasps enemies, collect them as prisoners, unleash blast effects at enemies. What's on the bottom? So it's just a one time assembly little diagram there. So let's crack this open, guys. Let's have a little closer look and see what's going on with it. So they're getting them out of the box where it says one time assembly. It is just these two fins that go up on the top there's two like little holes in the roof where one just clips at the back just clung click and there you go so these have the two little blaster effects and getting them out you can actually see on the front if the camera picks that up there's got like two little demon type of faces moulded into the front of the flame there so both the same but the kinds are like the ones that we've seen on a stridor with the blast effects type of stuff but with just that added detail you've got the three moulded chairs one being obviously skeletors in the back it's got these like little bone type of detail on them where this one's got a couple of little horns it's got a little, on like a pivot, the actual controls for the ship there, so that pivots up and down. And then you've got two little knoblet controls here, they're fixed in. And then you've got these big old claws that these just pull straight out, but they do rotate and twist round as well slide back in these little blast effects just slot into the front of those claws still able to pull out with them in so fitting Skeletor in the back there is like a little weapons holder just in the middle of his legs there 
and you can see you can put a staff or any other staff weapon in there so I've just popped that Demogorgon weapon that uh, you came with this little staff there so with the little flame features on it and round the front you've got two little like foot guards on this side where you can pop the feet in and then obviously you've got the big old Demogorgon so like the Origins fits in the seats quite comfortably as well as the cartoon collection which is kind of cool and those uh, little gripper arms really do grip hold at the waist of those figures so you can see all fits right round so not a problem able to stand up as well which is pretty which is pretty cool and the thing is that it has got a little hole for a flight stand which it didn't come with so can't believe the size of this and for the price of it and it didn't come with a flight stand yet they fitted one in it just surprising really <clears throat> so there's the one off the wind raider fits perfectly well as well although it can be a little bit of a top heavy especially if you've got it leaning that much forward let's just slide them back see if that makes a difference so when you slide them back it won't click further forward but just click up one extra and then you can obviously bring these out pop those in let's see if it just balances with a figure putting Hordak back in there it can be quite heavy so it doesn't really hold its balance which is a bit of a shame but there you go guys there's the, there's the collector let me know your thoughts on this have you ordered yet? Are you still waiting for it? So I ended up getting this from a Big Bad Toy Store. I absolutely love it. I think it's a cool little new vehicle added to the actual collection. While you're there, do the usual. Would like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.